Lockheed had been working on an SST design since 1958, before the contest, and with a creation that could fly at cruise speeds of around 2,000 miles per hour, or 3,200 kilometers per hour, with takeoff and landing speeds just like a normal plane to avoid the noise landing problem. This plane design originally had straight wings like the F-104 Starfighter, but during wind tunnel tests, it ended up causing issues with drag and the plane's center of pressure when going supersonic. The next stage was to change the aircraft's design into a delta shape, but then this came at a crunch when it came to the aircraft's landing and take off. Lockheed considered a swing wing like the Boeing 2707 design, but they believed that the joint mechanism would be too heavy, which we now know that Boeing ultimately abandoned it for the same reason. The plane would also need canards for the front to control the plane as it flew subsonically. By 1963 and five years of research, Lockheed had shifted the leading edge of the wing forward, removing the canards and moving the engines from within the plane to under the wing, resembling the final design that would be pitched to the contest. 